What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife over here are bringing you guys great tips, tricks, information that will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy and great level. Dun, 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 dun. Right? So, you know, we've had our years of experience, which is like 16 going on 17 years. It's really 30 because we've spent every single minute together. So it's, you know, it's times. Yeah, remember we, you know, we did the times. Live thing. together, work together, raise kids together. Yeah, hang out know, together. All these great things Drive we together do, in separate cars. right? So um, you know, we've got a lot of experience <laughs> along the way, and we've been through a lot of trials and tribulations ourselves. Nobody's perfect, and no relationship is perfect. So at that point, you always got to be working um, towards a better relationship, right? And you know, with this. We always want to give you guys great information and we get it from other people that we've seen or seen their relationship and what they've went through too as well. So we apply all this to ours and we want you to help you apply all to yours. Yep. You know, so today is a really simple one. So it's really easy for you and your partner to be in a great relationship if everything is peachy and cream. Yep. That means everything is going right and there's no wrong. Right. Right. And you have those so-called ride or dies. Me. So yeah, so Sharice is a ride or die. I am a ride or die. She's been battlefield tested. So <laughs> you know, you you really don't know. They always say it, but you really yeah, don't know <laughs> until it comes down to the situation, and then you see what really happens. Mm -hmm. And if you see over multiple situations, there's a trend there, right? That's what you can predict that might happen in the future. Mm -hmm. But if they leave right off the bat, you know that hey, listen, this was not meant to be. Hopefully, or they deviate. Yeah, or they deviate. Yeah, this is this is true. They may not even leave. They might just deviate. This is true, right? You know, this deviate as yes. far as like you know maybe just not as much love, not as much time. They might want to go do something else. They might go find another friend. They might go and still find, keep you around. Maybe you're you're supporting maybe them financially. You're, yeah, maybe you're paying the bills. You know, so they got to kind of keep you around. Yep. I mean, these are I know. It's, hurtful things but this is real life yes yes it really is yes so you know at that point you got to work towards this and at that point nobody can predict if their partner unless they've been battlefield tested is really going to come through now they can show you all kinds of signs that can show you hey listen i'm going to be ready when that time comes because like i said nobody can predict these things so at that point, if they're there, they're very loyal to you. They're always around. I mean, they want the best for you and they're not trying to bring you down in any way, shape or form. They're probably going to be on your side unless you cross them because you know how women are. They'll get scorned and come after you. <laughs> so don't do that. So <laughs> if, you, if you're doing the right thing, right, then they'll probably come through on that back end. So John, you know, they always love the real life stories and we've been there. We've done that. So we're yeah. going to share. Okay. The real life story okay. of me being battlefield tested, right? Because okay. there's pl actually a few times I've been battlefield tested, quote unquote, <laughs> John says. But the real, real, real battlefield test, I believe anyway, is that when we, right before we open Titan, mm -hmm. is when we, I call it all the time, I say it, we hit rock bottom, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I was in a bad car accident, so I, well, I, did, I wasn't working at the time. You know, our house went to foreclosure for other reasons that had nothing to do with us. <laughs> and it just was a really bad time. And, you know, when I met John, things were good. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you know, he he was great. I was great. We were working. Everything was phenomenal. And then all of a sudden we got to this point where it was a struggle. Mm -hmm. Every day was a struggle. And that's mm -hmm. kind of, I mean, some of the things that keeps us going, you know, is that we remember those struggles. Mm -hmm. I remember that we don't want to go through those struggles again and we'll do anything to not be in that position again. But the important part is, is that, you know, when we hit rock bottom, we did it together, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're, you know, up on the top and everything's great, you know, but he knows that if we ever hit rock bottom, that we're, I'm going to be there no matter what. And then, you know, it doesn't matter if it's, it might be both you guys hit rock bottom. It might be just one of you guys that hit rock bottom. But if the one party hits rock bottom and you're still doing great, you have to remember that, you know, that person was there for you you know, before all this went down. Mm -hmm. So why would you not want to be there for them at their lowest point? Right. You know? Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, and like I said, you're going to go through all types of things in your life and it's not just hitting rock bottom per se. Mm -hmm. It could be something else. Maybe you lose your job. Maybe, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe you do something that's out of character one time um, and they can't, 
you know, forgive you for that. So, no, that, that might be a thing. You know, that, that might be a thing. So these are things that, you know, you really should work on for yourself and make sure that you're a good person and you're doing the right thing. And then hopefully you find a partner that fits that criteria too as well. And time will tell, right? Time will tell. Time will tell. And it sucks though. It's like, I wish I had the, you know, well, I don't, I don't, cause I'm, I'm very well off here in my relationship. <laughs> So thank God for that. Um, but I, you know, for all of you guys, I wish you guys had a crystal ball. So you could be like, you know, oh, you know what? Let me not waste my time on this person yeah. because they're going to leave if things go bad. Yeah. I personally think that, you know, I think money is a big issue. Mm -hmm. I feel like when the money, if money's good and then all of a sudden money is bad, I feel like that's really, and it could be just the way I grew up and, yeah. you know, the way I saw my parents mm -hmm. argue. I mean, I feel like that's that's a thing. Yeah. Um, the next thing would be, you know, maybe like drug use, alcohol use, that kind of stuff. That brings people down, and then you got to be with your partner to get them through it. Right. You know, like it's, you know, maybe a family member dies. That's right. really rough. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know your, your your puppy dies. You know, I mean, that's like your your, yeah. your kid too, right? That's a, that's a baby. People actually do lose their children one way yeah. or the other. Maybe uh, some childbirth, uh, maybe it's a young age, or some accident. Mm. Um, you know, at that point, and that could break the the the, the the bond up too as well because one partner might be blaming the other partner of what happened in that situation mm -hmm. and they can never forgive them right or, or they think about something that happens and it just it breaks them away and then they start going in different directions mm -hmm. so these are things that are very important that you know listen nobody can predict anything and you know what accidents happen and things happen but it's what you do after that i think that makes the the most uh, impact, I guess, on your relationship because listen, you can either go with it and step right in and help and be with your partner and support them and grow together still, or you can just separate. But if you're going to go that separation route, I'm telling you, if you're on that edge, because you know, there's two sides of this coin. Mm -hmm. If you're on that side, then you know, then maybe it is better for you to just move on too, as well, instead of stay there mm -hmm. um, and, and dragging both of you and your partner down in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think it's, you know, I think it's a very important. To, to Listen, me and John, well. we're not perfect. And, you know, we, we have our arguments too. We have our disagreements. We have things that we may not see eye to eye on sometimes, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you know, you got to come to the solution. Right. And, yeah. you know, sometimes it really is trying to meet them at the halfway point. Yeah. You know, that's really, it's not always like my way or, yeah. I mean, I really do like it my way, compromise. but you, you know, you do have to yeah. compromise. Yeah. So <laughs> that's it for this week. Good times, bad times, stick by your partner, especially if you're married. That should be in your vows. Anyway, we'll see you next Sunday at 11 a.m. Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, over here. Catch us live. DVR us. Check us out on YouTube at TypeMedicalCenter.com. Well, Type Medical Center. And then you can check out the website, TypeMedicalCenter.com. We'll see you next week. Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. See you then. See you then. Hey. <laughs>